In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at transferring files from your iPad to your computer. Specifically, we're going to be taking a look at two versions of Music Reader. Music Reader 4 for the iPad and Music Reader PDF for Mac and PC computers. The nice thing about Music Reader is that the files, both the app and the program, can read the same files. So let's go ahead and connect your iPad to your computer. In this instance, I have it connected to my MacBook, and iTunes should open by default. In the left-hand column over here, let's go down to Devices and click on the icon for the iPad. And let's go ahead, you should see the summary screen open by default. Under this menu section, click on Apps. Normally you would see your apps if it's uh, synced to your main computer. This is actually a different computer that I have, so my apps are not synced here, but it doesn't really matter. Let's scroll down to this bottom section until you see File Sharing. Then you're going to see this subheading that says Apps. Let's go ahead and scroll down here as well until we get to Music Reader 4. Clicking on that, you're going to see in this right box all the files that are associated with Music Reader 4 on my iPad. I want to take a look at this top piece over here, click on that, and then click on Save To, and then you're going to have the option to navigate within your file library. I'm going to go ahead and go into Documents and look for Sheet Music PDF. That's what Music Reader PDF for your Mac and PC uses to store its library files. Go ahead and click on that, and then click on Choose, and it'll automatically copy that file over to your computer. Now let's go into your computer. I'm going to use my Finder or my File Explorer. And go into Documents. Let's go ahead and scroll down. I just want to confirm that the file is actually there. Sheet Music PDF. Here's the file folder over here. And here you go. Day in the Life of a Fool, right over here. Okay? The nice thing about Music Reader is that it works directly with PDFs. So if you have any annotations that you do on the Music Reader program, those annotations will be saved in the PDF format that you could use in any PDF reader. Okay, So let's go ahead and now we have to do another step because Music Reader doesn't automatically recognize those files. You actually have to manually add those files in. Let's go ahead and open Music Reader 4. And in a moment, okay, it's going to open and I'm going to go into my library over here by clicking on this icon. We have an alphabetical list of the pieces over here. As you can see, A Day in the Life of a Fool doesn't show up. It hasn't been added to the library yet. What we need to do is we need to click on this middle icon at the bottom here, Add File to Library. It has a little green plus sign here. Click on that. It's going to open up this window, and it's going to automatically default open to the Sheet Music file folder over here. Okay? And it's going to select that, and you're going to see all the files in here. Here's the day in the life of a fool. I'm going to go ahead and select that by clicking on it. Okay, and then I'm going to click on the open button over here. Okay, still not in the library. Hmm, what's going on? What's going on is Music Reader is trying to ascertain the name of the file by reading the metadata. The metadata is created depending on the PDF creation program. In this instance, this is a file that was actually created a number of years ago within the program Finale. And Finale has its own naming protocol within the, f the program. And basically what it calls, it basically, this is what the name of the file is in Finale language. Finale 2006 Untitled 1. Of course, it doesn't help, right? Uh, unfortunately, it all depends on the PDF programs you're using, so you may have to do a little bit of hunting and pecking. So here's the file. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and as you can see, here it is, a day in the life of a fool. So let's go ahead. I want to I don't want this to be named Finale, right? I want to be I have the name. I want to have this name over here. What I can do is I can change the file attributes by going to piece. Then go into this I icon, which represents the piece information. You can see by default it's giving me that title. I'm going to go ahead and, and change that over here. Okay? I'm going to click outside of this box to go back to the piece. Right? And there you go. Let's go back to our library and scroll back up. And as you can see, here is the piece. All right, let's go back to the library, take a look again. Day in the life of a fool. And you can go back in and change any other bits of information within the eye icon. But here you go. The day in the life of a fool. Now the piece has the correct name. Okay? So those are the steps to both open 
and transfer files from your PDF, uh, from your iPad, excuse me, to the uh, computer, the uh, Mac or PC version of Music Reader. And again, making sure that you take the extra steps to make sure you manually add those files to the library. And in the instance, if your file's name isn't coming up correctly, you can go down, you're going to have to go down and manually adjust that, unfortunately. Hopefully, in a future version of Music Reader, it'll do a better version of uh, naming your files automatically, hopefully by not just looking at the metadata, but perhaps by just looking at the file name itself, because that's what most people use. But that's a tutorial for another day. For right now, these are the workarounds to get your PDF files uh, loaded into your Music Reader uh, file library.